Hello, it's Keith from Kinvert, and in this video we are going to be going over the loft command. So first we need some profiles to use. I'm going to draw some ellipses here. I'm going to put it on this grid, and I'll put it right at 75, 75, so I'll remember where it was. I'll go ahead and do this. See how it's kind of an oval? I can hit check, and now what I can do is copy paste and I can do this a few times here. So I'm going to drag this up, say 25, copy paste, drag it up 25, copy paste. That's control C and control V, 25 again. And now what I'm going to try to do is control T. Is it going to let me move it? And now I want to rotate this one 90 degrees, although you could rotate it. This one I'll only do 45. Oh, why did I do control C? Control T. Now I'm going to do 45 degrees, something like this. Tell you what, instead of this, I'll actually do this one as well, just 45. So this will be at 45. And then this one should be at the 90. And then this one, Control T, I want to rotate this guy. like that. So now we should have kind of an inter interesting twist. So now what I'm going to do is click this and now I'm holding the control key and then I click on these other profiles to select four of them. Construct, loft, and there we've got this shape. It's kind of this twist thing going on. And in addition to this, I can go to, where is it, modify, shell, and I'll do a one millimeter thickness. And what I'm going to do is holding control, I'm going to click this top face. And then I'm going to look at the other side, hold control, and click this face. And now we've got this hollow, twisted shape. So I can actually grab this and move it away from the curves so it's a little more obvious. Delete these. Fit the view. And now we can see our strange little twisted curvy vase thing, right? So that's a pretty cool shape and there's a lot that you can do with this. So what we did is we made some profiles. It doesn't really matter what they are as long as they're closed profiles, which we've been doing already with different types of sketches. Let's just give one more goofy example. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a tall box here so I have multiple faces to draw on. And I'm going to make a spline on this face and it's just going to be a kind of goofy curvy thing here. Hit check or whatever and now I'm going to make another spline on this top face. See how it's higher up? And now I can start drawing this spline to look a little bit different from this one. Maybe bigger and there we go. So now we've got these oops, two different splines at a different height from each other. I can pick this, hold control, pick this, construct, loft. I want a new solid instead of subtracting. And there it is. I can delete this box. And we've got our new kind of goofy shape. And again, we could hollow this if we want to. Shell, um, one millimeter thick. Holding control, I'm going to click this face. Although you could just, instead of doing both faces, now it's kind of a bowl that's got a closed bottom, and this will print better because there's more on the uh, on the bed. So you can see that we made these really cool shapes very quickly using the loft command, construct loft. And I want you to mess around with this and see what else you can do with it, okay? Have fun with it and see what you can make. All right, this was Keith from Kinvert going over loft. We will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.